So we're developing a material to improve LED efficacy uh, by 20 to 40 percent. And by efficacy, I mean uh, 20 to 40 percent brighter per unit of input power. And so on, a, on your standard LED architecture, our technology would actually uh, strip about 50 terawatt hours off the grid on an annual basis by, by 2030 when, uh, when, uh, uh, when LED penetration rate is, you know, 70, 80 percent. Um, and so, you know, stripping 50 terawatt hours off the grid is equivalent to displacing 10 coal plants um, or 50, 47 million uh, metric tons of CO2. So the NSF, um, uh, Small Business Innovative Research Grant, allowed us to uh, explore, um, well, something that's been widely explored before but nobody's ever been able to get right. Um, we had a completely different approach, a, approaching the problem, ap approaching the, the narrow band red phosphor problem in general, and then B, um, solving it in a way that everyone would like to solve it, but nobody's ever shown any progress. That said, it took us two years, right, to actually get to that point, but the NSF uh, funding allowed us to do that exploratory research and take, uh, take a high risk um, to develop something that was, that, that's eventually going to be very high reward. So when we started the company, we were, we were two people, my co-founder and I, and uh, we were doing chemistry in my garage. And after we got our NSF, that wasn't going to be sufficient to continue doing the chemistry in our garage. We had to kind of, you know, beef it up a little bit more. And a, um, uh, one of our investors, um, he introduced us to a, uh, a company in Emeryville um, that allowed us to lease um, some lab space uh, from them to do, uh, and, and, it, and it turned out that, that they actually had a, a lot of uh, a lot of the equipment sets that we couldn't afford to buy ourselves. After that experience, we got our, uh, you know, uh, we transitioned out of that lab and into uh, into Kentucky after we got our our phase two, and now we have uh, 2,600 square feet. Um, and we are myself um, and five uh, PhD solid state chemists.